An important consideration when trying to simulate rigid body dynamics realistically is how to deal with the center of mass. So normally um, when we t take an object and we model it, the center of the object is placed in its location for transform reasons and is generally found in the center of the object or at the root. And that's fine, but it doesn't always work for uh, objects that have uneven distribution of mass. So for example, in this case you have a hammer where the, the obviously the head is very heavy because it's metal, and then you've got the lighter wooden handle. So what you want to do in that case is have the center of the mass shifted over more towards the head. So right now we've got the center a little bit closer to the head. Let's just move to the center where it would normally be found um, and play that back and take a look at what we get. So though the simulation isn't bad, it's not quite as realistic as you'd want because the center is found very much in the center of the geometry, it just kind of falls uh, evenly. It doesn't really have a sense of real uh, dynamic mass to it. So what we can do, of course, is go, go to the object and actually take the center and then move it over more towards the head. And because the center of mass is bound to the actual real center of the object, um, you'll get a different result in the simulation. There you go. So there you can see how the head is a lot more heavy and it's kind of uh, uh, gravitating towards uh, landing on the head, which you'd see in a real life scenario. Um, so that's pretty cool. We're getting the result we want, but the thing is you don't really want to be moving the center of your object uh, because it's really useful for transforms and uh, you know a lot of kinetic kind of uh, manipulations. It's a good idea to leave the center uh, where it is and rather what we offer is uh, in the actual inertial properties of the object uh, we have a center of mass control so with that we can enable it and then we can actually do an offset here just for the center of mass so we can actually offset, offset it off the geometry and uh, if you play that back you'll see what an exaggerated effect gives you so now because you've actually offset it off the piece you can see it's very top heavy and it's sort of balancing on the head there, which isn't very realistic, but just gives you an idea of you know what kind of uh, effect you're getting. So let's just pin this down. And what we want to do is just move it over slightly over towards the head and then play that back. So again, much more realistic result uh, adjusting the center mass of your objects.